Well, good day, folks. I hope everyone's doing great. Uh, well, as many of you know, I've been away from my house for a couple of weeks or so. I just got back home. I just got back home yesterday. And I spent all day just basically playing catch up and getting stuff done around my house. I did a little bit of grocery shopping and all that type of good stuff. And today when I went to go check my mail, I got a pleasant surprise. Well, it's not that much of a surprise. I mean, you know, got my passport. I got my passport. See? I got my this is my very first passport that I ever had in my adult in, in my life. And honestly, I never thought about obtaining my passport. Now there's been a lot of people, uh, there's been a lot of men especially that have went and got their passports because, you know, they wanna participate in the "Quote unquote passport bro movement." Movement. Now, for me, I got my passport for a much different reason. I didn't get my passport because I'm 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 gonna go out here and look for a woman of another country to to date or whatever. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but that's not why I got my passport. I got my passport because, you know, without getting too political here, there's been a lot of craziness going on recently here in the Western Hemisphere. I mean, everything has gotten super expensive. Healthcare for many of us has gotten unaffordable. And I very much care about my health. And I would like to stay healthy and live as long as possible on this earth. And so one of the, you know, one of the big reasons why I decided to get my passport is because, yes, ultimately, I would love to do some traveling overseas. And, it, and like I told you all before, I don't know when that's going to happen. But. I got my passport because of health reasons. Like, if something came up and I needed a I needed a procedure done, and I was unable to afford it here in the United States, I figure if feasible, I could fly over in the, I could fly or drive over in the Canada, or I can fly into Mexico or. You know, some country like that, and get certain procedures done. Now, fortunately, I don't need anything done like that. I'm healthy. I'm just overweight as hell. But I figure in the future, if something came up and I needed something done health wise and I was unable to get it done here in the States due to the high cost of health care, I could go to another country. And get it done. And in some countries I can get it done for a lot cheaper. In some countries I can. You know there are certain procedures that. For 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 the for less than what many people would pay per month for let's say. A car payment. I can go to some of these countries. And get a major health procedure done. I could get a major operation done. So that is one of the big reasons why I have a passport. Another huge reason why I have a passport is because although I do own my house outright and I don't have a mortgage on it, and although I would never buy another house that would force me to have to take out any kind of a mortgage or a loan. And I also try to buy in uh, cities 
where the ta the property taxes are low and the cost of housing is not as ridiculous. But I do understand that the cost of housing everywhere all over the country is getting out of hand. And as a result, property taxes are increasing. Homeowners insurance is getting out of hand. Repair and maintenance costs sometimes can be a bit expensive as well. So I figure, and hopefully this doesn't happen, because to be quite frank with you guys, I really do not want to have to pack up and leave the country. Because there's a lot involved in leaving one country and moving to another. It's not as easy as some people make it seem. But, you know, I'm the kind of person that I will do what I have to do in order to survive, in order to stay healthy and happy. So, with that being said, if I had to leave the country for the purpose of more affordable housing or just an overall better quality of life, I'm that type of person that would. And that is another reason why I chose to apply for my passport. Now, if you go to your local post office and you apply for your passport, you're going to be told that it's going to take you six to eight weeks to obtain your passport. Now, just to let you all know, I got my passport in three weeks. Because a week or so before I left to go to the UP in Michigan, I went to my local post office and I applied for my passport. And today, a day after I got back here to Alabama, I got my, you know, my passport was delivered to me. So those are the reasons why I personally decided to apply for my passport. It's not because I'm trying to participate in the Passport Bro movement. It's because I want to have means, every means possible to me, every means available to me that I can have for my survival and also for my happiness, I want to have. And I feel me having my passport is a biggie. It's huge. It means a lot for me to have my passport because with my passport, I now have that much more freedom to move around and do what I desire to do. And, I, and, 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 and I'm a strong believer that the human being is not meant to this day in one place and never travel, never go nowhere, never experience different places, rather it be within whatever country you reside in or rather it be another country. I mean, maybe I'm wrong on that philosophy, but I know for me, I cannot stay in one place. I have to travel around. I have to see different places. I have to, at some point, experience different cultures. That's just me. I can't, I can't just stay in one place. I, I can't do it. I don't give a damn what a job pays. I cannot stay in one place. I refuse to. Now, I might stay in one place for maybe up to a year if I had to. But best believe within that year, I'm making my exit plan to get out here and travel again. And like I told you guys, I am, I am looking at working nine to five again. Now, don't worry now. I'm going to still be doing this YouTube channel. I'm going to still be building this YouTube channel, so I'm not going nowhere on YouTube. It's just that I want to get out here until my YouTube channel gets big enough to where I make enough money to where I don't need to work a nine to five at this point, I still need to make a little bit more money than what I'm making currently on YouTube, which is why 
I'm out here looking for a nine to five. Now, some of you might think that, well, if I'm going back to a nine to five, that's not living on my own terms. And I say, yes, it is because I'm choosing what kind of work I want to do and when I want to do it and how long I want to do it and where I want to do it. I'm not like many people. I'm not going to, uh, I mean, I'm going to pick where I want to live. And then based off of that, I'll look for whatever opportunities are in that area. And when I get ready to leave that job, I put in my two-week notice, maybe, and I'll leave. If I get a job and I don't like it, kind of like what happened to my last job, hey, I'm dipping. I, ain't, I don't care about no two-week notice. I'm going to holler at you on the flip. But anyways, I don't want to get off into, into all that because that's not what the video today is all about. The video up today is primarily is was primarily about why it is that I chose to get my passport. And that being said, I think every one of you out here uh, that are decent human beings and are able to obtain a passport should obtain your passport, even if you're not a traveler. And you're a homebody. It's still good to have a passport. Because you never know when shit is going to hit the fan. And you might have to have an exit strategy. Even if it's only temporarily. Even if, yeah, even if it's only temporary. You might need to have an exit strategy for your own safety. You never know when something might come up with your health. And you might need to go to another country to have a major operational procedure done because if you try to do it here in the states it'll be way too expensive it'll be unaffordable and it could be the difference between life and death in, in some cases so for reasons like that I would suggest that anyone who's able to obtain a passport obtain a passport and again it you know you don't I mean even though even though you may not be a traveler it's still good to have a passport for that just in case type of a situation. And I know there's many of you out here that love the United States. Uh, and you may have even served several years in the military and you cannot see yourself leaving the country. I get all that. But I would say for even you folks, it's still good to have your passport for that just in case type of a situation. Even if it means having to leave for a week or two weeks or maybe, I don't know, a year for whatever reason. At least you have that exit. And then whenever you want to come back to the country, you can come back to the country. And there's a lot of people that leave the country for whatever reason. They might leave for a few months. They might leave for a few years. There's a YouTube channel. I forgot what their channel name was. It's a smaller channel. And they done spent over 13 years in, uh, Central, Amer in Central and South America. And they just recently returned back to the United States to live out the rest of their life. And these people are in their 60s. So, you never know when, you never know what life could throw at you. And, so yeah, I mean, if you haven't gotten your passport, I would advise you to go apply for your passport. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. And on that note, if you like what I do, uh, you can give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so, you can subscribe to the channel. And on that note, stay blessed. Got to add one more thing. When going to apply for your passport, make sure you have all your credentials with you. Because if you don't, they're not going to allow you to apply for your passport. Make sure you have a valid driver's license. 
make sure you also have a valid uh, birth certificate. And although from and also make sure you have your social security card. So your driver's license, your social security card, and your birth certificate are the three pieces of uh, documentation you're going to need in order to apply for your passport. And on top of that, uh, make sure you can also spare. Uh, I forgot exactly how much I had to pay for my passport for them to do what they do on their end in order for me to get my passport. But make sure you have $160 or so to spare. Because that's how much you're going to have to pay in order for them to process your application for you to obtain your passport. So hopefully this video helped you. I just forgot to add that important piece of information. So your driver's license, your social security card, your birth certificate fit, and at least $160. I'll catch you guys later. Stay blessed.